and the Great Arctic Adventure. We're getting close to the Octo Repair Station, Captain. Straight ahead, mateys. Docking sequence. I'm on it, Captain. Still trying to activate docking sequence, Captain. Oh no! The octopod just isn't herself these days, eh, Captain? She needs a little holiday, that's all. No. <laughs> Dashi, activate steering wheel. Oh. Easy now. Steady to the left. Steady to the right. And down. Docking sequence complete. Captain. Super, super. Wow, this place is huge. And it looks like there's every tool you'd ever need, Tweak. You betcha. I can't wait to get my paws on that Wonder Welder. Ready to get to work, Tweak? Cap, I'll have the Octopod fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Very good. And while the Octopod is being repaired, the rest of us get to relax, mateys. Octonauts, get ready for a holiday. Spyglass, extra eye patches, and me pirate's guide to island hideaways. Just one more book. <laughs> uh oh! Sunscreen, check. Camera, check. Surfboard, check. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'm glad you could join me on my trip home to the Arctic. I'm excited to meet your sister and her cubs. And we'll get to help the cubs learn some important Polar Scout skills on their first big Arctic journey. We'll hike across the snowy ground, swim through freezing water, jump onto ice floes until we reach the sea ice. Ooh, what happens there? That's where we polar bears hunt for food after the long winter. Ah, I remember my first journey across the sea ice. Is that little cub you? Yes, that's me. And that's my twin sister, Bianca. This photo was taken on the day we completed our journey and earned our first polar bear scout badges. And now I'll be able to give my niece and nephew their first polar scout badges. Let's go. <laughs> Tweak, Tunip and Professor Inkling will stay aboard the Octopod. The rest of the crew will be far away from each other, but we can call for help if there's an emergency. Tweak? Press this little button to contact each other, no matter where you are. See you all in a couple of weeks. Bye, everyone. Have fun, mateys. Bye. Bye. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. See you again. Well, uh, uh, listen, I may be on holiday, but I'm never off duty, so if you need me, just call. I'll be back here faster than you can say munching, bunching, scrunching. Oh, you know what I mean. Don't worry, Cap. We'll be fine. All right, then. I'll see you and the Octopod in a couple of weeks. Take good care of our ship, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I love hiking in a springtime blizzard. It's so much easier to keep up a fast pace without overheating, isn't it, Peso? Peso? Right behind you, Captain. Uh, let me help you. Just a little bit further. We're here. But where is your sister's den? I can't see anything but snow. Barnacles! Bianca! Oh, good to see you. Oh, where are the cubs? They're right here. It's their first time out of the den, so they may be a little shy. Whoa, it's bright out here. And big. I wonder how big. Better find out. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Orson, Ursa, Meet your Uncle Barnacles. Should we call you Uncle Barnacles or Captain Uncle Barnacles? Just Uncle Barnacles. <laughs> Mum says you're strong. I wonder how strong. Strong enough to carry you two on my back. <laughs> <laughs> and Mum says you're brave. How brave? Brave enough to be an octonaut. And I'd like you all to meet my fellow octonaut, Peso. Hello. We're brave too. And strong. Watch this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reminds me of the way we used to play together when we were cubs. Really? Oh, yes. That's how polar bear cubs develop their polar bear strength. We wrestled all the time, didn't we? And I used to knock you over like a feather. <laughs> That's why I used to call him Featherpaws. You called the captain Featherpaws? Uh, uh, excuse me while I check in on things back on the octopod. Captain Barnacles to Tweak. Hiya, Cam. Now, aren't you supposed to be on vacation? Uh, yes, and I'm having a wonderful time. How's it going there? Couldn't be better. I'm welding new arms for the octopi, and the paint job is looking good. Sounds like you've got everything under control, Tweak. Sure do, Cam. Oh, um, did I mention that the hot cocoa machine in the HQ is not working? Fix hot cocoa machine. Got it, Cam. <laughs> Come on, Uncle Barnacle. Let's go! All right, Cubs. You're about to begin a journey that all polar bears have made for as long as any of us can remember. And we're the only bears in the world who make this journey. So, are you ready to go? Ready! And earn your first Polar Scout badges. <gasps> yes! Then let's get started by climbing that. Now take it slow. Pull with the front paws. Push with the back paws. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Got it. Made it. And now we slide down on our tummies like this. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Cubs. Now it's time to use my favorite Polar Scout skill. Hup! Swimming! Follow me, Cubs. Huh. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> use your paws like paddles in the water. Form a line, everyone, and stay close. Ah. There's nothing better than an icy swim. The rest of the crew don't know what they're missing. We'll find a nice flow soon and take a rest. <gasps> Over there! Hmm, there's a colony of walruses on that ice flow. Walruses are very territorial. They don't like to share their ice flow with anyone. We'll find another ice flow. Come on! 
I'm not afraid of walruses. Are you? No. Come on. Hey, this ice flow is walruses only. Who says? Razor. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The cubs. It'll be tough to get to the cubs from the outside of the ice flow. But if we could pop up on the inside... I'll be right back, Captain. Lazo! Excuse me, walruses. Oh, where did that penguin come from? Yeah, penguins don't belong in the Arctic. What's a penguin? If you'll just move aside, the cubs and I will be on our way. Uh, not so fast, penguin. Oh, let him go. You're not the chief around here, are you? Hey, how come I never get to be the chief? Because you're not big. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. On the count of three, we dive under and make a break for it. One, two, three. Hey? You see? You've let them get away now. No, you let them get away. I never. Yes, you did. We did it! Thank you, Peso. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. No more swimming off on your own, Cubs. Would you like to ride on my back for a while? Yes, please. How about I take one and you take the other? There's an empty ice floe where we can rest. Oh, finally! I don't know, Barnacles. The ice looks a little thin. Ah, time to learn another Polar Scout skill. Cubs, when the ice is thin, stay on your tummy to keep the ice from breaking. <laughs> That's it. That wasn't much of a rest. I hope we find some good, thick ice soon, Barnacles. I hate to admit it, but I'm getting really tired. Come on, Cubs. I'll carry both of you for a while. And give your mum a rest. Peso, you can swim faster underwater than we can. Will you swim ahead and look for ice? Right away, Captain. Yeah. Not yet. The solid sea ice is further away than usual this year. Yeah. Captain, I found a big ice flow up ahead. Wonderful. Yes. Good work, Peso. Lead the way. <laughs> there it is. Here we are. Oh, perfect! Now, that was a very long swim. How nice to take a rest. Ah, uh, don't get too comfortable. This ice flow is melting. We're two paws lower in the water today. But there's only so much swimming a polar bear can do, eh? I swam here all the way from Canada. It's been tough to find good solid sea ice this year. Tough, huh? Try impossible. Nothing but water between here and Norway. And there's no ice any closer to Greenland. So we've come from all around the Arctic. Norway, Greenland, Canada, and Alaska. Hmm. And none of us have made it to the solid sea ice. Perhaps if we swim just a little further north. Oh, I have come from the north, from Russia. And there is no ice for miles and miles around. This is the only place where I can rest my weary paws. I've got you. Stay close, 